Born in Shiraz, South Carolina in 1917, John Burks Gillespie, a.k.a. Dizzy Gillespie, is best known for those chubby cheeks while playing a trumpet with an upturned bell. It's J. Do here, ready to fan the fame on one of the greats down here in Kakalaki. Let me take you on a trip or we down south to Kakalaki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touring with bands since he was about 14 years old, Dizzy recorded the King Porter Stomp, his first hit before he was 20 years old. In August 1937, while gigging in the D.C. area, Gillespie met a young dancer named Lorraine Willis who worked the Northeastern Circuit, which included the Apollo Theater. The two married on May 9, 1940, and stayed that way until death did them part. In 1939, he joined Cab Calloway's orchestra, with which he recorded one of his greatest, earliest compositions, Pickin' the Cabbage, in 1940. After a notorious altercation between the two men, Calloway fired Gillespie in late 41. Calloway disapproved of Gillespie's mischievous humor and his adventuresome approach to soloing. During rehearsal, someone in the band threw a spitball once. Calloway blamed Gillespie for it, who refused to take the blame. Gillespie stabbed Calloway in the leg with a knife. Calloway had minor cuts on the thigh and wrist, and Calloway fired Gillespie. A few days later, Gillespie tried to apologize, but uh, Calloway wasn't having that at all. On January 6, 1953, Gillespie threw a party for his wife Lorraine at Snooky's, a club in Manhattan where his trumpet's bell got bent upward when somebody up and fell on it. But he liked the sound so much, even after getting it put back in place, he later had a special trumpet made with a 45-degree angle raised bell, becoming his trademark. In 1948, Gillespie was involved in a traffic accident when the bicycle he was riding got bumped by a car. He was only slightly injured, but found that he could no longer hit the B-flat above high C. He won the case in court, but the jury awarded him only a thousand bucks in view of his high earnings. During the 1964 United States presidential campaign, the artist Gillespie wrote himself in as a candidate and promised that he'd fill his cabinet with famous musicians. If he were elected, he swore the White House would be renamed the Blues House. In April 1995, Gillespie's Martin Trumpet was auctioned at Christie's in New York City with instruments used by Coleman Hawkins, Jimi Hendrix, and Elvis Presley. An image of Gillespie's trumpet was selected for the cover of the auction program. The battered instrument was sold to Manhattan builder Jeffrey Brown for $63,000. He was given the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award for over 50 years of work, and he's also a member of the coveted South Carolina Entertainment and Music Hall of Fame. To play a little quiz about the founder of Bebop, Dizzy Gillespie, from Shiraz, South Carolina, go to my Instagram stories, at itchjdo, and answer the questions to win a gift card each and every week as I fan the fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we take you on a trip away down south. Show you how to go to get some down. Let me take you on a trip with down south to Kangalaki.